Welcome back to Jokmok. This time we're going to talk about sleeping bags. We're going to talk about down sleeping bags, synthetic sleeping bags, winter sleeping bags and how you can combine this, how to do to stay warm now when it's fall and actually it's winter in Jokmok right now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matti. I work as a nature guide, a dog musher and create this video together with my girlfriend Stina. We're living in Jokmok. It's a small village just above the Arctic Circle in northern Sweden. It's a fantastic place. Let's go back to the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag don't make you warm. The sleeping bag keep you warm. It's an isolation that avoids your body from loose energy and loose temperature. So what you actually have is a kind of layer of fabric and between that you have isolation and this isolation can be raising different kind of volume and then it should avoid the air to circulate inside that. Different kind of company have come up with different kind of solution how to do that. You have two main group of sleeping bag. You have the down sleeping bag with down from birds and you have the synthetic sleeping bag that have kind of plastic fiber things inside it. When we talk about the down sleeping bag we should always think about that this down is ripped off birds that are still alive. Most of the down is ripped off like that. And it's super painful for the bird. You can find some providers that have sleeping bags that are filled with recycled down. Or you can find some uh, providers that have down taken from birds they have been eating. So they kill them first, take off the down and eat them. So if you think that's more fair, maybe it's not so painful for the birds, but yeah. If you get a down sleeping bag, you had to pay a lot of money, almost three or four times money as you pay for synthetic sleeping bags. If you look at the down, that's the material that give you most isolation per gram that you carry. The down is also easy to compress. So it goes to small volume. Here's my coffee. <laughs> this is a synthetic bag. If you compare these two bags, they have the same temperature limit. Minus 20 as a comfort, minus 40 extreme temperature. And this is, the down bag is one and a half kilo. Pycal Radical 16H. This is Carinthia Defense 6. This is 2.6 kilo. One and a half kilo, 2.6 kilo. And you see the volume. Now you can compress them a little bit more if you want. Okay, okay, stop here. I'm sitting here editing the video right now and I can see that I made a mistake. Uh, when I talk about Carinthia Defense 6, it's a green sleeping bag. But in the video you can also see another one, a red one. That is this one, Carinthia G490X. They are very similar, very equal. But the red one is a little bit warmer and that's the new ones we use for the client and the green one was the old ones. But as I told you I will come up with a review of both this sleeping bag quite soon. So stay tuned, subscribe and you will see more about this. Back to the video. The down have some downsides and one of them is that if you're not careful with the down it goes in water to the down and the down collapse. Then you lose all isolation in this sleeping bag. So then it's a cold, not nice sleeping bag. All sleeping bags that are wet are not nice, but the synthetic ones, they actually don't collapse in the same way as the down sleeping bag. So this synthetic sleeping bag, I use synthetic if I go canoeing and I don't need to carry. If I go dog sledding and I know I'm going to sleep outside or in a hot tent with an open fire or with a stove or something, we're a little bit more rough if I'm sleeping on reindeer skin and so on, then I use these synthetic ones. The down sleeping bag I use when I go hiking and I want a lightweight sleeping bag in my backpack then I have this summer sleeping bag. I can still squeeze out more air out of it as you see. This is 400 gram and it's a good summer sleeping bag. I use this down for hiking tours, pack raft tours when I want lightweight equipment also. I also choose to avoid using the down sleeping bag because I want the down sleeping bag because they're so expensive. I want them to stay with me 
longer, more years. I think I bought this 10 years ago, maybe something like that. And it's still almost okay. I will come up with a review of this Pi car later. I will come up with a review of this Carinthia also later on. This Carinthia Defense is the sleeping bag we use for our clients. And it's good with the synthetic ones when you need to wash them quite regular. The down ones you don't want to wash in the same way as the synthetic ones. I really need some coffee. <sighs> this Carinthia have a comfort temperature minus 20 and it has a extreme temperature minus 40. This down sleeping bag have exactly the same. These two sleeping bags are a kind of extreme solution. They are something you only can use when it's cold. They're too heavy, they're too warm in the summertime. If you still think that this is too cold, you find warmer sleeping bags. But what we do, we have this liner that we put inside this sleeping bag. A liner like this increases the temperature almost 10 degrees. This is a thicker fleece liner that Stina's mother made to us, several of them. So we use these liners for our clients. Then we can take the liner, wash it, and we don't need to wash the sleeping bag so much. That's also one advantage with the synthetic sleeping bag. You can wash them more regular. You can also add one of these BV bags on outside. The bottom is water resistant and the top is ventilate. I don't like to use this so much because they keep the moisture in the sleeping bag. It is good if you're going to sleep in the sled. It's good if you're going to sleep close to fire to protect the sleeping bag, but it's a good protection and it increases the temperature also five to 10 degrees in the sleeping bag if you put one of these outside. So the liner, the beaver bag and the sleeping bag, 20, 30, up to almost 40 in comfort temperature. If you are the person that maybe make some camping trip sometimes in winter you don't need one of these sleeping bags. What I recommend you to do then is to get a good lightweight summer sleeping bag with down as isolation. This should be four to six hundred grams something. It should not be too light because then it's too cold if you're going to the mountain during the summer. If you're not going so much to the mountain in October September, October, November and so on. And uh, then you should get the synthetic one. If you want this one is down, this go down to minus 12 or 15 degrees, I think. It's, it's a Western mountaineering, Versailles something. And this one, anyway, I can use it in September, also now in October, November for camping. I recommend you to get this one in synthetic. Because then you take the down sleeping bag, put it inside the synthetic sleeping bag. Because the synthetic sleeping bag protects your down sleeping bag. And if this one is minus 2 and this one is minus 15, you think that, oh, that's minus 17. But it's not. This is much more than minus 17. This is probably more than this one that's minus 20 comfort temperature. So this is probably minus 30 something. You find clever guys and girls who have made this calculation on internet. If you also add the liner into this one, then you are warm during the winter. And you have a very perfect solution. You have the summer bag, you can combine it with the liner. You can combine the summer with the autumn bag, or you can combine the autumn bag with the liner and so on. This is very, very good. You can use it different situations and so on. can really recommend that. The temperature limit for a sleeping bag is a lower limit. That is the lowest temperature for an average man. Then you have the comfort limit. That's the average woman feel it comfortable to stay during the night. And then you have the extreme limit, this extreme temperature. And that when the average woman should survive six hours in that sleeping bag. So it's comfort for the man, comfort for the women, and survival for women. I don't really know why they think that women 
need a warmer sleeping bag than men. But maybe for uh, the most of the people, average woman, average man, it's like that. There is men that uh, actually need warmer sleeping bags, so you can't just read. You have to know your body a little bit. You usually don't regret that you had a too warm sleeping bag. So I also want to say thank you for all nice comments and thumbs you're giving on this YouTube channel. It's so nice to see. And we have passed by 3000 subscribers. It's a lot of people who are looking at our videos. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I want to say thank you to all of you who support us on Patreon, PayPal and so on. Thanks so much. It helped us to do this video. See you next time. Ciao.